Well, hello everybody. I'm about to take a little trip here and go drive around town to do something that I've always wanted to do. It's just see what Radcliffe looks like, the changes after being gone and deployed for uh, 20 months. So there are a few things that don't exist anymore here. And there are some new things that have popped up right around here. So I'm about to take a little trip and stop at some of the main places like by the courthouse, the main street here in Radcliffe, Kentucky. Check out a couple restaurants, another key, a couple more, a few key spots around town and that'll really wrap it up. So let's, and I'll, I noticed that there's a few people that be uh, watching this that have lived in Radcliffe before. A few of you have contacted me certain places, so it's kind of a thing if somebody want to see something, I'll show them. You know, keep in mind, even though Fort Knox may be here, it's still kind of a small, peaceful town. So, I'm about to take off in the Jeep and go take a little drive, shoot a little video. Stay tuned. Now, we've made it to the first stop on our little journey through Radcliffe. So, let me get out here and show something here. Just a moment, we'll do a little pop. Now, of course, this is West Lincoln Trail. In the first place, we notice here that's brand new is this Pizza Flying Horse Chicken Gas Station or Frying. Let me get a good shot of the name. Fry, flying Horse Gas Station, that's what it is. And down here's the courthouse, police station and all. There's a couple new things over there too. But at this intersection on West Lincoln Trail Boulevard, a new gas station popped up. So everything else is still kind of the same. Post office is still there. This bank is still there. But I do understand that um, the Chase Bank there, I think is closed. That's what I heard. So, we're gonna keep on going. Go get a shot of the courthouse police station. This is the main road here. So, let's kind of just continue on a little bit. Check out what else is new here. All right. Now we made it to our uh, next stop. And uh, this is where mainly the police station, the courthouse is. And you notice something new here. U-Haul moved in. This used to be a shopping center. Jazz and Jokes way back there. That is closed down. It exists no more. So that's one thing new here. And over here in these buildings, it's like they're building something or tearing down something. There used to be Spectrum there and something else. And of course, to give everybody a time frame, which I should have started. I deployed to Afghanistan in 2019 in September and returned back here to Kentucky in April, the end of April. And of course, I was there from the beginning until whatever COVID is now. And a lot of things change in the town, you know. A few new businesses, some don't exist. And, and uh, some places are doing, some businesses are doing well. Like my next stop is uh, El Molino's, a Mexican restaurant. And this here is the Chase Bank. I heard it was closed, I don't know. I don't use it, but I do have a Chase credit card. So, we'll stop at Molino's. It's one of the most popular restaurants in town. It's a local restaurant. We don't have too many. There's a few chain restaurants here. 
but I think Molino's is probably the best one out of all of them. Very friendly staff and all. So that's our next quick stop on our journey. A look at Radcliffe then and now. But I guess I do want to add one thing. Seemed like the town managers could have picked something better to put here on the main street in town instead of a U-Haul rental place, you know. Why not a bowling alley? Just my thought, something for the citizens to use. We pay enough taxes in this bad boy. They could put something here. So we're continuing on our journey. Next stop, El Molito Mexican restaurant. All right, again, I found another spot, another place that's kind of relatively new. Um, it's a pizza place called Kicking Pizza, so check this out. So I'm not sure how well it shows up. I'll try to zoom in a little bit here. And this is a new pizza joint called Kicking Pizza. Don't know how good it is, never been there before. So, oops. There we go. So, it's a brand new pizza joint. Still here on Lincoln Trail Boulevard. So it's a little pit stop. So we're gonna go and continue on to our next destination. Oh, oh by the way, I'm not sure what was there. Can't really remember. But yeah, there's about three new places in town, I think. There's another one right on Dixie Highway, not far from here, cause we're about at the street corner where Lincoln Trail meets meet 31W. And to the right, up by Taco Bell, I think, there's a Freddy's or something like that. We'll see. I'll probably say the name wrong. So, on with our journey. Bye now. And so now we are at El Molino's. We, or we just call it Molino's. So finally made it there. And um, I think one of my buddies are here. Let me flip the camera around. Show, some, show a little bit here. So let me pause it. Now right across the street is this new place that I'm zooming in on. about as close as I can get called Freddy's Steakhouse of course haven't been at e been there either and it's right next to Taco Bell which is right there Let me zoom out a little bit and so uh, yeah that's 31w and uh, this is Molino's restaurant right here zoom out of that it's a pretty nice place you can sit outside it does about the most business in town it's about the best one in in town that you can get because they fix everything however you want it so and lots of people come here lots of the military lots of folks in the military come here as well to eat so I might pop my head inside just to say hi. I think a bud of mine's in the, is in there. I think Kevin may be there. All right, I'm currently inside Molino's with my buddy, Kevin. See, he's black. He's the black white guy. How you all doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit dark over there where he's at. Uh, he's having a margarita. I'm sweating, so I'm gonna have a quick refreshment and we shall continue on with the journey. But here's a quick snapshot of how it looks inside. So, a nice place. This is inside. This is El Molino's, or Molino's as we call it. There's my good buddy Kevin again. He bugs me all the time. Come on, man, let's have a drink. Nah, he's cool. <laughs> so. Of course, complete with a bar, everything you need, lots of good food, 
bunch of food. I am by no way an expert on Mexican food. I have to say that. That's my disclaimer. So stay tuned for more. So this is me and Kevin again. <laughs> Having refreshments. Army Brat from Radcliffe. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to show this tonight. My dad's a retired, except the whole world. My dad's retired military for 20 years in the army, so oh, yeah. we come back in fourth year in Germany for most of my life. Oh yeah? Where were we? Darmstadt, Baumwater. You ever been to Baumwater, Darmstadt? Been to both of them. I love them both. It wasn't ever stationed Which one's there. not open anymore? Uh, Darmstadt. Well, Darmstadt. Darmstadt. Officially, is not open, but we do have people there. Not to my There's no. There's a small group of super secret spies there. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't say that on video. <laughs> <laughs> Officially, it's closed. Been closed for years. Scratch that. Don't quote me. On that. <laughs> NSA will ever be looking for me. Tried using your drone for videos? Actually, I had it here. Actually, yeah, I have it. Yeah, I have I mean, it with yeah, me now, too. I was flying it because I wanted to see if it still worked. I hadn't used it. You know, it's been locked up for a year and a half. So I charged it up and brought it out here and flew it. JD kids went crazy. Little man was, everybody was like, wow. Great video. I actually looked at it this morning. I can mix that up in the video that I'm gonna make. So, friends having a drink. We gonna we gonna do a pause for the call. <laughs> 